the old Alabama smallmouth, boys. We do it better. Trying to find like a little pocket where what kind of fish is that? So we're gonna find a spot where there's some fish sitting. Oh yeah, there's a group of fish right here. Let's see what they are. If they want to bite or eat or anything. Yep, there's one. Oh! Had one on for a second. Looked like a smallie. Yep, I seen him right here in the rocks digging around. I kind of just... Dang it. Had him on for a second. Yeah, you can see him right here. Tucked down. If I can get it in front of him for a very long time. Oh yeah, they're smallies. Oh! Yes! Got him! Alright, come on. Come here. Alright. There we go. Snow vision special strikes again. I kind of was just walking along the rocks and I seen a group of fish kind of hugging the rocks. Look like they're, I don't know what they're doing, really stirring it up here. So I threw it out there and it was able to sit in the strike zone. I kind of just popped it around a few times. Got her on the old jerk bait. Not a huge one, maybe. 12 incher, but ah, nice. Let's go. I don't know how you guys are picking this up. Hopefully, pretty good. I mean, they're right here, pretty close to the shore. I just found a spot where the water's kind of slack. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. Kind of spot where the water's kind of slack here. I'm just letting my bait kind of slide down into that slack water and then I'm popping it around. And I'm not throwing it very far. Yep. Oh, yeah. Getting that. Getting that water in there fast. All right. No, don't break off. Don't break off. All right, I had to come back and get my pliers, talk to Neiman, he had to help me because I wasn't about to get trebles in the hand over a 12 inch smallie, but we'll head back over here. Man, you hook one and they get into that fucking current. <laughs> a couple bigger ones in there with them, so. Hopefully I can hook up to some bigger ones. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Not really casting out very far. You really need a shallow diving or floating jerk bait to do this if you're gonna come up and do this because it'll just dive right down into the rocks. So you need something that's gonna try to stay. Kind of throw it out in the fast water there. Let it there and then started twitching it back. I'm not really reeling too much back. I'm just letting it sit out there and I'm twitching it. Yep. Drum. The, the old Alabama smallmouth, boys. That's Alabama smallmouth. A bad size one. Oh, yeah, this is one of them sheephead drums. Crushed it. All right, see you later, buddy. I don't know if because the farthest one is on, it's not as good there. It seems like every one that I've caught sitting, like if you can find a pocket of slack water, 
This is old poop rock. That's how I know where I need to stand at to catch fish. I'm going to stay throwing it out there in the fast water. Coast over. And then I just feel like everything just sitting right next to the rocks. And then I just kind of snap it back. And slow it. Oh, except for don't do that. There we go. We're out. It's one good thing about fishing right next to the rocks. You can walk down and get on the other side of that rock. Once you're stuck, don't really yank on it because they're gonna you're gonna be able to get to the back side of it. Don't set the hook in too deep. I mean, a bit as a fish, but <laughs> stupid moss, stupid wind. Jesus Christ. There he is. There he is. There's one. Bad one. Ah, oh, Thick, thick girl. Oh yeah. See you later. Shoo. Yeah, let's go! Look at him, he's enjoying himself down there. There he is, right there. I'd say, if you're gonna do this, bring your crappiest rod and a jerk bait you're not afraid to lose. Cause you don't need no sensitivity around here, that's for sure. I'd say probably spinning rod. It's up to you guys though, whatever you want to do. A stiffer sti spinning rod. There's one. There's one. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, digging. Oh. Woo! Just battling all the elements here, boys, girls, ladies, gentlemen. Let's do it. All right, so I'm just kind of working along this bank here, and I'm trying to find, because they got the, I don't know if you can pan over and see that or not, but they got the, they got the very far gate open, so we got a lot of current coming, but it's also bringing back current, and it's kind of giving you these little backwaters for the, fish to sit in and they come up and they kind of tuck in it and so I'm kind of just running my jerk bait along these rocks and they're sitting in these little current pockets and I'm just very I'm just really sure like not actually jerk jerking it but I'm just very just letting it sit there and do that action and kind of work it back slow because all that current's doing most of the work for me and they'll come up and they'll slam it just gotta find a pocket of them where they're sitting. Oh. Paddlefish came up right here. I don't know if anyone's gonna see it, but it like came up and turned and splashed. Well, I'm starting to see them again, so hopefully we can get them to bite. Take a look at the side of this one here. I'll show you guys if you guys can see that, but he's been through a battle or two. Maybe he went through the maybe he went through the turbines. All kinds of activity going on right now. Alright. Went for a little bit without a bite there, but I worked down a little bit farther than I probably should have. 
gave this spot that I was getting them at a break. I came back and you could kind of tell that they were back in here. So we started casting again and got that one. But that kind of what I was talking about with uh, kind of work up and down and you'll see these certain, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to tell, but you can kind of see where it's a calmer current break is what I call them. It's probably not what it is, but like a back eddy. And they like to come in there and they'll sit. And there's just a little short time where your bait's in the strike zone because of just how turbulent everything is. But once you get it in there, kind of let it stop and you just pop it a few times in the area. Hopefully they're willing to bite it. about all you can do on a day like today really I mean I don't know troll probably I guess but I don't think you're standing up top casting into the wind there's some nicer sized fish down in here but I think they might be just drum need the sun to come out Right there. There's one. Oh, sh sh <laughs> that rock is not stable. I almost went in. <laughs> yeah, I, you didn't notice because you're there. This whole rock tipped forward, and I was like, that. I, holy shit. I thought I was going in. Had the bass pulled me towards the water, the rock was flipping forward. Pretty dramatic there for about, no giant, but on a day like this, when the wind blows and you have nothing else to do, pretty nice. And there are some really nice ones in here. I caught a couple nice ones. He caught at Master Angler last year, so, I mean, they're in here. Something to do on a day you can't get out on the boat. I think I'm gonna end this episode. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. It was entertained, but caught a few decent smallies on the jerk bait. It's like a pretty cheap, I mean, this is a Shakespeare ugly stick. And then my brother made me this lure. You don't need much to come down here and catch some nice fish. So you guys have a wonderful day. That's it, I don't know, that's it, cut, end scene. We do it.